about that now. Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1215. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please uh, jump onto the Wild Dog. Check out all of our full end videos. Uh, give us some love there. Justin's helping us out today uh, from CrossFit Back Bay here, head coach here. And uh, we're just doing a little hip opener. And, and it's just a, a different way that you guys can look at it. I know sometimes people have trouble opening their hips. Remember that when we're squatting, and I had this conversation with some great athletes today. When we're squatting, hip flexion can only get you so far. So you really need to work on your hip rotation because you're going to run out of room with straight hip flexion. So this is a way to help open up, and it's a it's a one-legged, uh, it's called like, a, like an Indian stretch. You're not allowed to say Indian, right? Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross Criss -cross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Now, but, uh, so we're going to show you how to get into this position. What Justin's going to do here is he's going to start on both of his knees. Kind of like go parallel this way. There you go. Uh, we're gonna do this hip, all right? So take this hip and bring it in front, like if you're gonna do like a modified pigeon pose or something. But now what he's gonna do is he's just gonna allow himself to go all the way forward, right? Now this knee locks in kind of like where his leg would be right here, so that way he doesn't straighten his leg. And then he's just gonna come up into a, like a scorpion stretch type of position. What this does, right, you can see how he has a little bit of hip flexion right here. That's great, that, because we wanna have this slack so the quads aren't super, super tight and we're able to get to the groin more. So now all Justin gets to do is he gets to grind this hip in here, right, by leaning away, twisting away, and driving his hip down, right? And he can just play in here. He can go back and forth, he can relax, he can go put some pressure in, he can use some active uh, breathing techniques, like where he contracts with the breath, and uh, contracts and breathing in, and then uh, relaxes with breathing out. But this is just a position that I wanted to be able to show you guys. And then of course, all you do is drive back onto your butt, knee comes back down to the ground and you're able to switch, right? Now the other leg comes in, right? It gets locked in the knee right there. You come on back down, right? And now this hip on the opposite side is the one that's gonna do, right? So you can drive down, play around in there and everything like that, right? So do a quick test, retest for yourself, right? Um, and be able to do a squat with uh, prior to this and without, right? Cool, Justin, you all good? Yeah, all right, awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, just one thing on that. Make sure you guys uh, don't, don't like, Get your knee, uh, don't get your heel stuck above your knee and start messing up your kneecap. That wouldn't be a great idea. So that's the only thing that you need to keep in, keep in mind. Cool? Um, again, appreciate it so much. Guys, until tomorrow. Oh, questions, comments, post them below. And until tomorrow, we're optimizing function to optimize performance. Boom, look at that.